Chelsea feel that Mikhailo Mudrik, as you mentioned, is the right guy and, and also feel, well, about 10,000 others are the right guy, but Noni Madweke could be another one. Yeah, this one is very close. Uh, £29 million deal from PSV Eindhoven. Uh, he's in London. He's been having, having his medical. Uh, could even be announced uh, this evening or maybe tomorrow. He would be Chelsea's sixth signing uh, of uh, this month. And I'm not sure if he will be the last. I know Graham Potter today seemed to suggest that there may not be any more signings, but I've still got a feeling that they will try and sign another midfielder. They tried to sign uh, Enzo Fernandez from Benfica. They weren't willing to pay uh, the release clause. I know Darmesh has been following uh, what's happening with Moses Casiedo, uh, and we both agree, Darmesh knows more about this than I do, that Chelsea definitely are uh, interested in signing him. Seamlessly takes us on to Mr. Casado. You've done this before. <laughs> Away you go. Yeah, look, we've been saying the whole window that, that Chelsea are not giving up on signing Moise Casado, not just in the summer, but in this transfer window. He's not for sale as far as Brighton are concerned. They've got no intention of selling him. They don't need to sell him. They don't want to sell him. And they're under no pressure to actually sell him. He's still got two and a half years left on his contract. We are told, though, that... What Chelsea would be prepared to pay just now and what Brighton would want, even though we don't exactly know what Brighton would want because they do their business very privately. They don't make it public what their asking price is. We didn't know what the um, uh, Trossard was going to go for until it kind of came out once the deal was agreed. But it's my understanding that Chelsea and Brighton are not in the same ballpark with regard to how they value um, Moise Caicedo. Interestingly, though, the head coach, Roberto De Zerbi, held his news conference today ahead of the weekend's games. And he was obviously asked about Moise Caicedo and he gave a very, very interesting answer. The best solution is uh, he can finish the season with us uh, and the, the, in the summer, next summer, uh, for him is, is better change the team. So... He wants him to stay. He thinks it's the best thing to do that he stays in this window. Doesn't say he's definitely going to stay. He says the best thing for everyone is for him to stay until the end of the season. And then in the summer, change clubs. Now, I mentioned he's got two and a half years on his contract. In one way, that works in Brighton's favour. But in another way, if he doesn't sign a new contract, come the summer, that is going to be the window where they're going to be able to maximise the transfer fee for Moise Caicedo. Because the, the further it goes down his contract, the less valuable he's going to be to Brighton and we know how Brighton have been doing their business they've been buying really really cheap and selling for such huge fees but they keep recruiting these players so they are doing it in a fantastic way you've got to take your hat off to how Brighton are doing their business so if he doesn't sign that contract I think and he doesn't go in this transfer window as much as Chelsea would want him I think in the summer we're going to see talk about Moise Caicedo, we're going to see Declan Rice, we're going to see Enzo Fernandez, we're going to see Jude Bellingham, a lot of elite midfielders in world football and there's going to be a lot of clubs who are going to be after them and they're going to go for big money. I think it's going to be the talking point of the summer. Yeah, Caicedo really impressed on the opening day of the season against Manchester United when Brighton won at Old Trafford.